ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover. All I ever wanted. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK. There were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up. Less on the feet, women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger ain't wanna meet you. Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature. Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers. Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher. Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach you. But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either. What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center, 198 Central Ave. White Plains, New York, 10606. Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. $100 for better all lies. adults, 17 and over. Kids are for guys, free. But they'll be sleeping in that same place when that semi Start sending in your funds you today. Hey, Shalom, D.C. We're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Under command of Jenny and Hannah. You understand? We not affiliated with any Israelite group on the face of the planet Earth. You understand? Since 1969, the ICBK has set the tone for putting brotherhood back into the hoods. You understand? Bringing out the truth according to the Bible to all so-called Negroes, Blacks, Natives, and Hispanics, man. Bringing out your heritage and your identity that your Christian pastor is not going to tell you, man. Bringing out the truth of America and America's sins and wicked ways, man. You understand? We have yet to understand the things that plague the black community. In order for us to separate from that, we have to separate from America's culture, man. We have to separate from America's spirit and the thing that embodies America that destroys us. We have yet to understand that America thrives off the chaotic things that go on in our neighborhoods. Every time a brother shoots another black man, you understand, America thrives. That's one up for them. Every time another brother picks up a cigarette or a black and mild or a capone or anything else in a bubble leaf, you understand, America one-ups on us. Every time one of our sisters end up on a stripper pole, one of our children end up on a stripper pole, America ones up on us. And what do they say? They say all day long that you can talk about it in your rap songs. They say all, all day long you can talk about the guns and the violence and the drugs and pimping out and slaughtering out your own people, but you can't talk about the cruelty that it is that America's police system and that America does towards us, right? You understand? But we want to celebrate some President's Day, or we want to worship some President's Day. You had a lot of uh, you had a lot of us that had a government job that was off for President's Day. You understand? A lot of our children learning about the forefathers of America. When well, what have the forefathers of America done for us? What has the founders of America done for us besides slaughter us, kill us, pillage on us, purge us, rape us, rape our women? You understand? Molest our children, kidnap our women, sex trafficking. Send the blocks on your back, sitting do sicking dogs on you, setting you on fire, hanging you from a tree. The list goes on and on for what America has continuously done to all black people, man, and Hispanics and Native American Indians, man. How many more bodies got to sit here and flop over in the rivers while they with their child? You understand? How many more brothers got you got to see on TV talking about I can't breathe, I can't breathe? How many more before we turn back to the truth according to this Bible, man? Right. You understand? We don't understand that America and the so-called white man, our oppressor, man, they just like us when we wanted to be children. Wanted to be just like our father. Our father is our superhero. Our father is, our, is the person that we look up to. But yet we don't want to understand that America looks up to their forefathers. That, uh, that long-nosed, long-headed, big-headed uh, uh, oppressor looks up to his forefathers. He looks up to George Washington. He looks up to Thomas Jefferson and Honest Abe and all of them in above. You understand? But we don't understand that this is what they look up to. The fact that they still got uh, Mount Rushmore with the four, the four presidents on it should tell you that white supremacy exists, that racism still exists. They don't forget about it. Everybody wants to say, well, times have changed. Slavery was 400 years ago. Times have changed. America has not forgotten that. America still thrives on that. That's why their faces are still carved into a mountain. That's why they sit here and they see you uh, 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 
uh, worshiping their presidents, worshiping and, and saying, well, uh, well, Trump's not my president, Obama's my president, a black man is my president, Obama ain't your president either, man. You understand? The most high sets up a leader that is supposed to lead his people, man. You understand? But we fall into some, some vain words that America has taught us, and now we sitting here worshiping, worshiping America's money, worshiping that green dollar, worshiping everything to do with America and their forefathers. But what about our forefathers, man? You got that scripture? No sweat. We're gonna bring out we're gonna bring it out right here. Let me know where you are. Psalm chapter 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Do you understand? The words of our oppressor's mouth were smoother than butter. That's how they caught 77 million Native American Indians plus and sat here and killed all their buffalo, killed their main source of food, took their land, took their woman. You understand? They put them on reservations where they are dying day in and day out. Committing suicide day in and day out, man. Because what? His words were smoother than butter. You understand? Because their words were smoother than butter, man. You understand? America fools us thinking that our ways are the ways it's supposed to be. When America wants your ways to be just like America's spirit. You understand? You think because you don't vote for Trump that Trump doesn't think you actually did vote for him? In your spirit, you did vote for him. If you join in America celebrating their holidays, you understand? Do, uh, smoking their drug, getting high off their drug, you pretty much did vote for Trump. Trump just sits back and make a laugh, make a smirk, move that uh, 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 blow at his little wig at the top of his forehead because really and truly you are a supporter of America. You understand? You cannot continue to fall into the, uh, into the, the slippery, buttery words of our oppressor that has literally put us in the condition that we in now, man. Read. But war is in his heart. But what? War is in his heart. You understand? America and the, and the white man has raised war against all black men, against all Hispanics, against all Native American Indians. They've raised war from the moment that we came over here. They've raised war from us on the womb, man. You understand? America has raised war with they, with they buttery words and turned back and shot you on your back. Turned back and whipped you. Told you to turn around and whip you to death. Whipped you till you bleed out to the white meat. But yet you want to hold hand in hand with them. You understand? America's going to get punished for the things that, for anybody that has touched the Lord's children, man. Anybody that's on the 12 tribes, uh, the 12 tribes chart time, man. You understand? America has put, has put their hand against us. And the Lord doesn't like it, man. But we have to give the Lord a reason yeah, to come back and send, it, to send his angels, man. To come and relieve us out of the oppression that we in. You understand? That's what we out here for. Read up from the top. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, uh -huh. but war is in his heart. Uh -huh. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. His words were softer than oil, but yet they still drew swords, man. You understand? We don't understand that America has killed us no matter what it is we do. No matter what it is we do, and, and even furthermore, they've killed us even when we join today's society. We celebrate your holidays and we die. We spend our money in your, in your stores and we die. We support your businesses. We're the sole reason why America's children, why every other nation eats. Because of every black man and Hispanic man that works 24 hours a day, 24 seven, seven days a week. They're the re we're the reason why it is they get to eat, their children get to eat. You understand? We're the reason why their neighborhoods is even safe. They ain't got no, they, they ain't got no cops sitting there clowning out, uh, uh, plotting in their neighborhoods, man. They ain't got no feds, no 12 sitting there plotting in their neighborhoods, sitting on every corner of your block. They live it comfortably and well, man. And that's because of the chaos that America has put on black people, man. With they smooth words, they butter words, they oily words, and then they turn around and still kill you. You served in their military, you came back home and you still were a so-called Negro. You were still a spick, you were still a wetback. After you gave your life for them, after you gave your legs for them, after you gave your arms to them and your heart for them. And now you sitting here waiting for a new heart. America not gonna give you a new heart, man. You go serving in America's military. You understand? You get hooked on that drug, they still kill you. You join their military, they still kill you. You tried to do it the right way, you tried to go to college, you tried to be the best suit and tie Negro you can be, and guess what? America still uh, 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 lets you know that you are no different than a field Negro. That you will never be no better than that. But God says otherwise. Drop that. Give me Galatians 6 and 7, man. You understand? But America is definitely going to pay for what it is that they've done to all black people, man. They have to. You understand? The Bible says whatsoever a man reap, that's what he sow, man. You understand? You can't just do something and expect not to be done back to you, man. You do good, good happen to you. You do evil, evil gonna happen to you, man. That's how, the, that's how life works in the first place. 
But black people have forgot and have been taught otherwise, man. Black people have been, uh, been taught your brother, your sister can get shot by some police officer and you just forgive them. Hug them, brush their head, give them a Bible and tell them John 3.16. Well, how can your brother mean uh, so much to you? How can your sister, your son, and your mother mean so much to you if you just forgive it? You get no justice. They offer you a, 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 some type of bribe. You understand? You got that scripture? Go ahead. It's Galatians chapter 6 and 7. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. God is not mocked. Uh -huh. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You understand? For whatsoever a man soweth, that also shall he reap, man. America is going to reap the benefit for putting their lost children in slavery for 400 plus years. America is going to reap the benefit from sitting here putting drugs in all of our neighborhoods and gentrifying all of our neighborhoods. America is going to pay for what they did to D.C., turning it from Chocolate City to one of the most diverse cities on the face of the earth, man. America is going to pay for, 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 for advertising our sisters to go sell their body and become a prostitute. America is going to pay for the things that they've done that are against this Bible, man. You understand? America's going to pay for taking our identity. America's going to pay for what they did or having you think that you're another people, calling you two, steps of, two separate people. America has to pay. The white man has to pay for everything that they have done. They're the only people who have not received righteous, uh, that has not received a righteous judgment, man. They kill and slaughter and rape everything on the face of this earth. And yet they walk up and down the streets so big and so proud with the biggest smile I've ever seen on my, on my, in my life, man. They don't regard anything, man. They don't regard what their forefathers have done. So how do we turn around and look and be taught about the President's Day and not the truth about these forefathers, man? And not the truth about these devils that sat here and did what they did to black people, man? America is filled with bloodshed across this earth, man. Of our blood. When are we gonna return back to the truth of this Bible and start worshiping our forefathers, man? Read, read it from the top. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You understand? Don't be deceived, man. God is not mocked. He see what's going on down here. He see what's going on. He's a father, man. But he also told you better. In Deuteronomy, he also told you, man, what would happen if you went, to, if you went against the law, statute, and commandment of this Bible, man. And coming into the truth, guess what? Grabbing the flyer is the best thing that you could possibly do as a black man or a Hispanic man. That's the best thing you can do because when you come into the truth and you talk the truth and you're not taught some lie by your Christian pastor or by some oppressor that took your identity in the first place, when you come into the truth, you see why he gave you these laws that you commanded. Because without them, look at us now. Look at the condition we're in now. Look how we geek in the smoke every five minutes, every second. Look how we geek in to go have a fun out there on the town, not realizing how much danger we're surrounded by, man. Not knowing who our enemy is, man. Who was supposed to tell you your enemy was? Your leader, your, 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 your guide, which is supposed to be your pastor, right? But he didn't tell you that, did he? You understand? The scriptures say God is not mocked, man. Be not deceived, man. He, he see what's going on. He see all the evil that's being done to his children, to his chosen people, man. So if you his chosen people, it's about time that we act like it, man. Right. It's about time that we come back to these law, statute, commandment, man. That's because he told you. Any father that tells their children or gives them a rule or is considered strict, there's a reason why he told that child not to do it. You understand? The most high didn't put the most high put us in slavery, but he didn't put us in slavery. He just did the act as a father would do in disciplining his children, man. A hard-headed children, man. Colonel will come. Colonel will come. Drop that, give me Revelations 13 and 9, man. Not, not Proverbs 11 and 18. You understand? We can't sit here and decide to go and worship some, uh, some forefathers and their culture and their spirit and their identity and not even be knowing our identity, man. The identity of our forefathers. You understand? Because America's forefathers, what, 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 what do they need a whole day for? What do they need a day of praise for? You understand? You don't understand? President's Day is like Father's Day for America, man. They celebrate it like Father's Day. You understand? Uh, 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 Teddy and Benjamin Franklin and George Washington, you understand? They look at them as their father. That's their father's day. Their president's day is their father's day, man. They look at it and they worship it for what it is that their fathers did for them. They set up a nice foundation so where their children can live nice and comfortably. 
They set up a nice foundation so where their children can live comfortably and you can't. They set up, they set up a foundation so where your children are hooked on drugs and you're considered a gangster and a thug and a criminal. But when their children are hooked on a, on a drug, it's a, it's a mental issue. We got to examine them. You understand? This is exactly what they, they, they set up. And it ain't no coincidence, man. It ain't no coincidence. But we got to come back to the truth of this Bible, man, and realize who our forefathers are. We can't sit here and hop behind and bandwagon off of what America wants us to do and celebrate their forefathers and their president's day. You understand? Every single one of their presidents called us savages, called the Native American Indian savages, man. That's what Indians stand for. You understand? You got that? Proverbs 11 and 18. The wicked worketh a deceitful work. The wicked worketh a deceitful work, man. Everything that America has done, in other words, a deceiving work, you understand, they propaganda. They want you to, they want you to see something that's not the true picture. And what helps push the, push the propaganda of America? What helps push and uh, thrive President's Day and every single one of their holidays? You understand? The Christian church. You understand? The things that, the things that it is that they want us to worship and not see the truth in what it is. And how it is that it's destroying us. Not them. It's destroying us and helping them prosper, man. It's, it's been another dollar in their pocket, another security system. You understand? Saving their lives while our lives are being taken, man. You understand? Read it from the top. The wicked work is a deceitful work. Uh -huh. But to him that sows righteousness shall be sure, shall be a sure reward. You understand? But he that so but him that sow righteousness, righteousness, you understand, shall that should be his reward as well, man. America, the America's reward for all the blood that they have gotten, the only reward that they could get is exactly what they gave, man. They gave 400 plus, they got to get 400 plus, man. They gave bloodshed, they blood got to be shed, not by us, but by the Most High, man. You understand? Anybody that's being told that America will not pay for what it is that they've done, you understand? That their forefathers will not pay for what it is they have done, you understand? You're being lied to. That's the propaganda. How can you forgive how much blood was taken of our people? How many of my sisters and your sisters was taken? How many of my brothers and how many of our fathers and mothers sitting in the, in the prison systems, man? High off of America's drug, man. That's they were war for what it is they've done, man. We can present the Lord's 51st annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. Back in 1985, I came into Israelite School of UPK, there were 20 wooden chairs on the men's side. And those chairs weren't even filled up, less on the women's side. Now, we are at the arena. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020 at sundown we're going to be holding the lord's 51st annual passover I ain't a people pleaser, I don't like people either I don't care if you're not the jigger, ain't wanna meet ya Just give me my motherfucking check if we do a feature Tell Michael Jordan he can keep his fucking sneakers Walk inside your favorite church and just drop your preacher Cause he ain't gonna drop the right shit that he should teach ya But what about Obama? Nigga, I don't like him either What has he done for us? We're gonna be located at the Westchester County Center 198 Central Ave White Plains, New York, ten six so Diamonds in the cars. They got million dollar houses. Have you seen ours? See, we get mesmerized and fail to recognize that they don't sympathize. A hundred dollars for all adults, seventeen and over. Money, we Kids are for free. But they'll be sleeping in that same place when that semi -fies. Start sending in your funds you today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPA 51st Annual Pass over Facebook More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. If you a black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian male, and you want to participate in Hebrew Academy 2021, contact the nearest camp leader in your city to see if you got what it takes to be a soldier in the Army of Christ under Commanding General Yohannes. ISUPK presents. 
the Lord's 51st annual Passover.